afternoon, everybody. Yes, it is the afternoon. It's 1 p.m. <sighs> Central Standard Time. Yes. We didn't think we'd be leaving this late. Well, we knew we were leaving my mom's at around noon. We went and saw Peter's brother and the kids. Um, and then we got some Dunkin' because we got some gift cards for Christmas. And my milkshake was $7. Eve? Eve has found a... Eve usually tends to gravitate towards Sarah because of all the time they spent together. But apparently me and Eve has been spending a lot of time together this vacation. Because... Apparently... I mean, I feel like we've... We've had equal like responsibility with her though yeah but she just hasn't gotten that kind of time with peter and so now oh serious i'm chopped Dust. liver mm -hmm. she would not sit on my lap and she's over there by peter she's so. over here hiding about to fall asleep. we're about nine hours from chattanooga well, we're staying but, outside of chattanooga yeah right outside chattanooga however the time change does happen before we get there so it doesn't say we're gonna get there until like midnight um, their time, but we're obviously well rested. It's only one. Yeah, Nine yeah. hours is better than 17. Right, and I'd rather get there at midnight than have to uh, try to drive through and get to Florida tomorrow at whatever time it is. Right. We're at our first gas stop. So we ran into the washroom. Eve took her break. She was so good. Slept so, so much of that first lag. And uh, we're, I think we're about 80 miles away from the Illinois to Kentucky border. Um, it's 23 degrees, so definitely warmer than Chicago, but I don't know if we'll get above freezing today. But I got to clean off the car because our windshield wiper fluid isn't working, but I think it's frozen. Like there might be ice capping it. Thought I got it, but I don't know what the deal is, but I filled it up before we left. I got to clean off the, the windshield because it was covered in salt residue. But I'm gonna, Sarah's coming out now, I'm gonna run to the washroom. I'm gonna grab a couple bottles of water and some other little snicky snacks and then we'll head back on the road. But it's crazy because it's so win it's officially winter, so it's 4.30 and we're maybe an hour away from me. Hi, honey. <laughs> there she is. Eve's got some crazy separation anxiety right now. Yeah, um, gotcha. But it's gonna be dark soon. Alrighty, we're back in Nashville, but this time we are in much better shape. <laughs> Far better shape this time than last time. Yeah. I don't know how we made it from Nashville all the way to Chicago <laughs> last time, knowing how tired we were when we drove through Nashville last week. That was crazy. And here we are. We're still about what, an hour and a half maybe? I think it's a little over two hours. A little over two hours until our, until our Airbnb. But we, we feel pretty good. Yeah. We'll we need on. some real food, we I think. We should go to downtown Nashville and get some real real food, real, yeah. real chicken, <laughs> some country fried something. Okay, it is like 11 o'clock at night, and we are about five minutes away, but we have, we need real food. So, I stopped in the Walmart, Sarah's outside at the dog. I'm at the Walmart, and we're getting real food. Sandwiches, sushi, juice. Now we're gonna go find our uh, bed and breakfast, because it's late. And we gotta edit this vlog to get up before we hit the road tomorrow. All right, Sarah, we're at our Airbnb for the first time. What do you think? So cute. It is cute. It's literally, it almost looks like they took their garage or detached, I don't know what. It's their house is outside this door, detached. But it's like a studio. We've got a little stove and oven. Mm -hmm. We've got this space heater right here, which that's kind of weird. Never seen that before. Here. With the fire. And we got this little kitchenette. This is the bed. Got a cool little lodgy feel with the skis. This little couch right here with this table. And a TV with a fire stick. We already got the office going. And I think the bathroom's in here probably. Nice, I like the wood finish. Look at this, this looks fancy. Nice wood finish, sorry Sarah. Toiletries and everything in there. Nice wooden cross. But we got Sarah's one question. Or one thing was, can we get some sushi? And we got some sushi. So I think this was super simple. I don't. This is our first and only B&B we've ever done so far. And I like it. 
It was simple. They were really nice. They were commenting. It's 11 o'clock. They're probably asleep in their house. So they left the key for us. They told us where to find it. We had a covered carport right outside. And we know what to do when we leave. Like, we're going to leave the towels in the bathtub. It's really cutely done. And we got this for, like, 60 bucks. Yeah, well, after everything, it was 73. 70 bucks with fees. That's all the fees, including a fee for this little pup. So, I got this heater to work. So that's awesome. Never used a heater like that before. Just gotta make sure Eve stays away from it. Look at this cute map. And then this cool, like, tile. I like... I thought it was black grout, but it's not. It's just, like, spaced out, so it looks dark. But I like these light fixtures. Look at this stocked kitchenette they gave us. I bet that there are cookies in that jar. <laughs> I don't know if I'd use their breading and stuff like that because oh, I don't know. Where? Where? There's Red Bull. Is there a fridge? There is a fridge. Let's put the Red Bulls in the fridge and take them in the morning. Here's our sushi display. These these wonderful plates were in the were in the cabinet. I'm divvying up. And these mason jar cups that we put our our bowel beverages that we got in. But look at this. Fully stocked K cup Keurig selection. I'm gonna have one of these French roasts in the morning. Well, we're going to bed <laughs> to get some rest, to go home in a safe and responsible manner. Yes. So let's know how the, the Tempur Pedic bed they have over there oh, yeah. is in the morning about doing the whole. We'll give you a whole synopsis of how the Airbnb experience has gone. <laughs> yeah. In tomorrow's vlog. Mm -hmm. But let us know down below if you've done Airbnb and yeah. any interesting, fun, or interesting stories you have about or it. Or tips. Yes, Tricks. or tips. This was cheap and right off the expressway. We're like yeah. 10 minutes off the expressway. Yeah. So what should we say? It's it's good to be almost home. <laughs> it's good to be almost home. It's good to be almost home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.